Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. And hello to all my new 400 subscribers. I have no idea how I got you. But if you wouldn't mind, could you leave it under the comments? Did YouTube feed you or did you hear about me from another channel? I would really like to know. And I just want to say welcome to everyone. Old, new. I have some people who have followed me since the beginning and that's about 12 years. So I hope everyone is doing okay. And so at night, I pray for my followers and all my followers pray for each other. And it's a very uh, dangerous time in some areas in the world. So I hope everyone is doing okay. And so this video is how a few good deals can really stretch your budget. So today I bought these sausages and these buns, and these are gonna taste pretty good. And I got them cheap too. So I toasted my buns because I think they taste better. Mm. And uh, what I did was, I got the hot dog buns at 99 cent only, 50% off, but they charged me full price. You know I hate that, but it's okay. I, I got such good deals on everything else. I thought, well, it's okay. Then I bought, uh, the bread is an issue. I bought these sausages for $3.99 at Grocery Outlet. And uh, let's see how many's in here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So basically, I would have five meals. So, you know, uh oh, I'm making a mess. Basically, you know, five nights in the month, I would have sausages. I could cut them up and put them in stuff. But really, this is the way I like to eat them. And uh, I bought this big um, bottle of pickles just for a night like tonight. What's good about this is I probably bought it cheap and you get the jar. So that is awesome. The birds are happy. So I'm trying to do my I'm trying to do my videos earlier. I think they come out better. So okay, let me cut this. Uh, these are dill pickles. Uh, you can use pickle relish. I have pickle relish, uh, sweet pickles, and then these are dill pickles. Uh, let's see, I think I'll just cut them in four pieces. And I'll put two, I'll put two on my hot, or my sausages here. And then I'll just eat the other two. So, um, I bought these, I, they had these uh, half price, maybe these weren't. Usually I only buy if they were half price, but I bought these uh, for a good price. Let's just put it this way. And then for lunch, I bought this really good thing for 99 cents and I ate this in my car uh, from a grocery outlet. So I just bought one to see if I like it and I thought I'll buy more if I do and I did. So let's see what, it, and you know, if you have ketchup and mustard this is pretty much you know you have your vegetable you have your carb like when you go out you might order fries i generally don't i try to get the biggest mustard because you know you always run out at the worst possible time uh, i try to stockpile mustard and ketchup but you're still gonna run out if you don't keep it stockpiling. So I'll put my... So that'll do. Okay, and I have some black tea. This is Dollar Tree black tea, where is it? 
I have a couple of these. If you if you have these, chances are you'll never run out and have to just drink water. Uh, also, I try to grow tea, uh, mint. Mine aren't as good as my daughter-in-law's. Hers is really, really good. How a few good deals can really stretch your budget. So I, with the hot dog buns, I got those because the, I bought those before I bought the sausages because I have a lot of uh, hot dogs and sausages in my freezer and I thought it's a good time to eat them down. Uh, with the English muffins, I thought I would make pizzas, small individual pizzas, sausage sandwiches. I use any kind of sausage. I think I have one available. Where is it? Ah, here we go. Just these, I get them for a dollar and I flatten out two and I fry them. I could make some gravy and then I just put mustard and sausage and I have a sausage sandwich. I also bought a sausage, now it won't fit back in here. I also bought uh, pounds of sausage at Grocery Outlet. So now things are getting cheap because I've stockpiled food, but if you haven't, that's okay. This will give you some good ideas. Lunch meat and cheese with my bagels. I mean with my English muffins, and then I just eat soup and bread, so that's good. Okay, so then I got a good deal for, of onions and potatoes, so I can make a uh, potato salad. I try to keep onions and potatoes around, and carrots and celery. So with the potatoes and onions, I could make onion rings, just dip the, slice the onions and dip them in pancake syrup and fry them. I'm suspending the diet for a little while. I'm not in the mood. Potato salad, mashed potatoes, french fries, and you've seen me make potato soup, and I have a lot of um, bacon. So you just make your potato soup and put a big pile of bacon on top. Okay, so now, say with these sausages, if I wanted a more substantial meal, I have a macaroni and cheese, and I took this cheddar cheese out of my freezer. I can make some uh, cheese, uh, you know, melted cheese on my, um, my English muffins, 10 of them. Uh, those used to be a dollar, and now they're uh, $1.99. That's a hundred, you know, they're saying the inflation on food is 10 or 11 uh, percent. I think not. And then the other thing that is really good with these sausages is um, baked beans. And you can eat that on toast with your sausages and then peaches. One of the followers told me about this and don't ask me why this is good. It's also good with hamburgers. Baked beans on toast and then cold peaches. This is good. <laughs> Thanks to the follower. Read the comments and I write them in my notebook. Okay, so uh, those and fries. I could have fries right on top of my um, um, right on top of my sausage. That would be really good too. Okay. Now, reports are starting to come in across the country about uh, a higher demand at the food banks, which is not uh, which is not surprising considering the extent of the uh, inflation. So um, out here in California in East County, you can go to the you can go to a food bank or a food pantry almost every day of the week. So maybe consider that if you don't have enough food. Um, so, but the problem is the food is costing the food banks more, some of them volunteer it, and also the gas to go get the food. And also uh, there was reports that the people couldn't sit in their cars and waste the gas. I think the gas I bought today was a little bit over $6 a gallon. Um, okay, now California, of course, calling for twice as much money from the state. Inflation is the major issue. This is in California. Uh, they're asking uh, 20, okay, this is a good one. 23% of our mega population is food insecure. This is not good. And they're ask. and Governor Newsom is pro proposing a 50 million one-time boost to the food bank. 
and it just so happened, didn't I just tell you guys, I think it was yesterday, that Poland has already um, donated $50 million to the Ukrainian refugees. So we have our own problems here. They're admitting to 10 or 11 percent, but one dollar instead, two dollars instead of one dollar is not 10 percent. That would be a dollar and ten cents. Or Dollar Tree, one dollar and twenty-five cents is not a ten a ten percent increase. Okay, so now it's okay. That's bad enough. Personal savings are at an an all-time low. And they're saying deposit, bank deposits of money in the bank are also low. So um, I was thinking about this and, you know, I was, you know, doing various ways uh, to do uh, food storage. I think the little by little approach is the best. Like, uh, let's see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. This, I like this. This is the Walmart um, Salsa. So when I use one, I want to buy two. You get the most salsa and it's storable. And when does this one expire? Uh, 20, September 2023. But what I want to do is look for everything I buy a very long Best Buy date, like 2024 if I possibly can. Okay, um... Finland is moving one half of their tanks towards the Russian border. Uh, Shangri-La in China protests life, life protests lockdowns, one half of the, uh, the capacity, and they're blaming the U.S. As the food dwindles, um, it used to take 100, it's taking around 111 uh, days for a transport to go from China to the U.S. Also, uh, they're reporting uh, it was catalytic converters. Now it's water pumps in your car. So make sure if you need one, you get one like now. Okay, and the Ukraine wants Moscow to surrender. I don't think so. Uh, Poland stands, uh, okay, now Poland is probably gonna be key. They're saying they, they don't wanna destroy Poland because of the the uh, the transport and various things I mentioned to you, and also they don't want to really level or bomb uh, Kiev. So we'll see what happens. And also uh, Romania, is danger there. Okay, so now what are we likely to see over here? And the UK is in no good shape because Russia has kind of uh, threatened to, bomb, to nuclear blast them. So, okay, so we have food increases, drastic increases in, in fuel. Today I paid six, $6, a little over $6. I run premium in my car because I don't want to buy a new car. So I, first of all, I drive very little, but I try to be very careful so that my car can last, I'm hoping five more years. Okay, and utilities. Okay, I want to mention this now drastic increases in utilities. They're saying to expect a brutal summer in Texas. So if you live there, prepare. Okay, so I lived in a bad area. I mean, you want poor? That's where I lived. Uh, one of my neighbors, the only lights they had were a string of Christmas lights. It's cheap. Uh, I lived in one place, bed before dark. <laughs> I used to say, no wonder they've got so many damn kids. I work with a guy, I mean, I lived with this guy and he told me he turned all the breakers off except the refrigerator and his utilities was $9 um, a month. What I do is I'm just never home during the day and I'm not using any utilities. And, uh, and there's no wear and tear on my uh, dwelling either. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, like my car. Now my car is a dirty mess, but there's very little wear and tear on it. But if you avoid wear and tear, then you avoid having to fix stuff. But if you need a water pump, okay. Um, and then you can just heat one room. I mean, wouldn't it be better to have one room heated or maybe a buddy heater in one room than to get your utilities turned off? 
okay, dwindling credit, and they're saying that even right at this moment, even the retired seniors are using their cards in record and then less money deposited in the bank. So I mentioned to you now, if you possibly can, if you have food, just quit spending, just eat what you have. You know, like in, in the day when they went to town once a year, they didn't say, oh, I don't have this, oh, I don't have that. They, they just ate what they had. So deposits are gone. Now we have more problems. So don't forget, I bought one buddy heater and it's about $100 now. Container ships are a problem. For one thing, in uh, China, they have the zero tolerance. And so the Chinese are locked down. And of course, everyone is blaming the U.S. for everything. In spite of the facts, they're the ones with the COVID. And they say it's starting to spike here in California. So I'm not letting go of my masks. Uh, truck parts. So what's bad about truck parts is how do you truck the, the food places if you can't get parts? Truck drivers are down. Uh, I heard a lot of them just retired. Uh, so they're saying possible supply chain crisis. So we want to prepare. Nothing hysterical, but, you know, just keep preparing. And there's, we're having a health care crisis. And they're saying the demand is down. Well, no kidding. People don't have that much money because, you know, inflation. Okay. No. You know, the discount shopping, there's a problem with that. I've been doing pretty good with the discount shopping. The trick is you find where you can get the dis discount uh, stuff and you just check in. Like today I was lucky. I found the bread. I found the sausages. Uh, I found bananas. I, I made two in banana bread. I'll show you in a minute. And, uh, you know, so, you know, I stocked up a little for $6.00. So that's not like a weekly shopping. Uh, so these discount places could be cut down low because the suppliers will just go to the places that want to pay them full price. Okay, now another thing I've been hearing, and this is very creepy, Supreme Commander-in-Chief. Okay, you can research that yourself in uh, the Freemasons if you so desire. But like in the media, well, who is this Supreme um, Commander and Chief? Okay, uh, okay, the GDP is down, they're saying 1%. So we're producing less by 1%, that is probably low. And uh, the imports, so we're, are down, we're importing less stuff. Our imports are down, our GDP is down. Okay. And the Dow has plunged the last four weeks. So that, like if you live in a good area, I mean, you feel it. Now, when people have money, now these people can quit spending. I want to mention something. Okay, so we don't know what's going to happen. And I was watching this one channel leaders, just go to Costco and buy $300 worth of food and, you know, call it good. So I was thinking the prudent thing to do would be keep $300 somehow so that you can not charging. So if you need, or if some family member, wouldn't it be better just to like give them some cash? I mean, if you had it yourself and you would have it if you made an effort to save it and not to spend it, which would be smart. Okay. Um, now what I'm thinking about is, you know, I got a free sub from 7-Eleven and I'm thinking, why not... Um, maybe secure some of these subs, you know, when they're on sale and then have like maybe some baked beans and some peaches or some macaroni and cheese, or I have chips I bought by the case. Um, and, um, I'm looking for the longest best buy, uh, maybe buy a, a water filter, nothing expensive. And then I want to tell you about this girl. Uh, she went, went to, she was young. And this was, she's my age, so she's pretty old now. So she went to Mexico in a polygamy compound because, you know, polygamy is not exactly legal here. This was a long time ago, though. And, and there was no work, and her husband came back to America to work. And, um, and one day an old man came up to her and he said, Ma'am, your daughter is starving. I mean, 
she really was actually starving and he gave her a bag of beans, a bag of rice, some vegetables and told her to plant a garden. Okay, the Mexican garden is tomatoes, uh, squash, peppers and onions. So if you have tomatoes and rice, so if it got drastic, you know what I do? I If I find uh, like a Marktown bag of beans, I buy them. And then, you know, I either eat them or if somebody needed food, I have uh, rice and beans. And so you plant a garden using the seeds out of your food. Here's green peppers. And, you know, I'm going to try to stagger my garden. What I eventually want to do is create the garden out of my uh, seeds, out of my food. Okay, so now what did I make? Okay, I've got the best, world's best applesauce bread from Julia Child. So today I made a banana bread out of, it turned out delicious. And it's going to be so yummy with my tea. <laughs> Uh, actually, this bread is, and it's really moist. So here it is to go with my tea. This is so good. And what's good about it, it doesn't require an egg. But it does require a lot of sugar. And that's one thing we want to stop by. Let me give you the recipe. Get this recipe right here. It's right here. Go close so you can get it. <laughs> okay. Now let me give you the second half. It's very easy to make and it's no fail. I use bananas and walnuts. I didn't put raisins in it. I just wanted to see if it would work for banana bread. And it was really, really easy to make and really, really tasty. So now, the thing about when you start making this bread, this is like why you want to stockpile spices. In this bread, you need um, one teaspoon clove, cinnamon, allspice, and salt. So, and then you need baking powder and you need sugar and melted butter. It's very easy to make. But when you're going through uh, one, um, teaspoon at a time you're going to go through your spices really quick so i want to find uh big bags so then i'll just freeze this and then you know at night when i'm wa watching married at first sight i will drink tea and eat bread okay so today i went this is one of the lovely shirts i bought six t-shirts and um, I mentioned to you that I was going to the thrift store and generally, you know, you can't find stuff. So I went over there and there was absolutely nothing, which is more common than when I was buying stuff. So what I look for, this is a nice new leather jacket uh, and I try to get them half price. Uh, this is what I want to, I mean, if these two items are, this was $3, maybe this was $5, you know. This one has a little damage because they put the, they put the price tag. But that's okay because I bought it cheap. So, uh, so you want, you want, if you want to help someone, you give them a bag of beans. Like when things, if things got really bad, a bag of beans, a bag of rice, and you plant a garden. I think you can sprout beans. Uh, the bad thing is like if things got really bad and it was a, a food line and you got a bowl of beans with no beans, that would be very, very bad. So we don't want to go there. All right, I want to mention to you something about, okay, I have good maps, but I can't find them. So if you look at the map of the Ukraine, I have underlined, here's Belarus, which is basically a Russian territory. Uh, here's Kiev that hasn't been bombed out of existence. Uh, Kharkiv has been attacked. Uh, Donat, uh, Maripol, Odessa, uh, Mold so you see, Mold Moldova, so here's Russia. So we have, if this is a chessboard, 
what we have is we have the queen, the king, the bishops, the knights all in place. And then here is Poland. So um, when, when they say that the Ukraine is not giving up, that doesn't mean that things are not critical because they are. And that is why we're seeing a, a lot of movement of troops and stuff over there. So I'm watching Europe, I'm watching uh, Romania, I'm watching uh, Finland, Germany. The only thing standing between uh, the Ukraine and Germany is Poland. And, and we don't really know uh, what's possibly gonna happen. And then, you know, Belarus. So you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new, welcome. And if you have comments, and you don't have to agree with anything I said. I mean, it's subject to change. See you tomorrow. God bless you all.